monkey fucks anymore. You can ask permission to give them because I go through all the time. All the time. In fact, the other day, the other, there's a woman behind the coffee shop <laughs> in London. She was having a bad day. I mean, like a really bad day. She's taking out all of her stuff. And then she said to me, that would be 350. And I was like, are you okay? And she kind of looked at me as if like, I've grown two heads. <laughs> and she's like, oh, just, I, I, she's an absolute nightmare. And I said, you want a hug? <laughs> and she looked at me and went, um, uh, I really, I was like, well, it's there. And she's like, um, but no, but thank you so much. And it just diffused it. Because actually, I don't know you from Adam, but you're right, that human connection and that human empathy can go so far. And I tell you what, I have done that a fair few times. And sometimes people will go, actually, <laughs> and we'll have a cuddle. And it's a beautiful moment. So I think that the perception is that we can't, but actually asking, would you like a cuddle? Sometimes you might, oh, just put your head there. You know, I always tell people I've got a massive shoulder. Shoulder blades, you know? I'm all right, I can take your head. Just Press your head there and have a bit of cry. Or do whatever it is you need to do in order to make yourself feel better. But for me, I think that we're always forever trying to cover it up, trying to do it ourselves. We've got this, you know, I don't need help, I don't need support. And we all do, we all need help, we all need support. We all need somebody to listen to us and to validate how it is that we're feeling. And I think it's really important when we look at mental health, we've ascertained that everybody has mental health and not everybody has lived in poverty. Is that fair enough? Mm -hmm. Everybody has mental health, so you know what it feels like to feel bad. You might not be able to feel or know what it feels like to feel bad because of the fact that your person's empty. You might not know how to feel bad because of the fact that you can't have food on the table, but you know how to feel bad, so you can tap into those emotions, you can tap into that feeling, and you can certainly understand how somebody might be feeling. I wish I had the camera on you guys when you were writing down the words associated with that case study. I saw your faces. I saw how you felt for that person. And that's words written on a piece of paper. So everybody has the capacity for it.